there and welcome links here we will be starting a game from Valkami today titled the secret ingredient supposedly there is some connection with Skyrim but apparently you don't need to know it which is good because I have not played it yeah I have never played Skyrim or anything uh, like Elder Scrolls related and I don't even mind but I will play the secret ingredient you can find the game on the each.io and I think I'll have to make it like safe for YouTube here let's begin Is there no sound? Oh, okay. Last one. Ha! Whew. I can feel sweat gather on my skin. It's the beginning of summer and the weather will surely get warmer. Good job. I see you chopped everything. Say. What was your name again? My name is... Wait, can I write a name now or... Yes. Let's go. Arthur. Well, Arthur, you earned your pay. Unfortunately, that's all there was in the job and they don't have any work work for you. The rest of it will be shipped as it is. Are you sure there is really nothing else? Nothing at all. I'm afraid that, but if you're looking for more work, I'm sure there is more in the town. Always folk around needing a helping hand. Thank you. Um, I'll see what I can find. Now come, you've earned yourself a warm meal and your money. Thank you. Mm. That had been yesterday, so today here I am standing in front of the notice board looking for more work. And that's how most of my days have been going so far, doing manual labor to try and save up some money while paying for the room I'm currently staying in. Let's see... There are a few letters pinned here. Need the 10 bear pelts in good condition. Price negotiable... Negotiable... Negotiable on delivery. 10 bears, that's crazy. 10 bear pelts. What the? That sounds super dangerous. That's in the bottom right corner, right? I can do that. Where am I supposed to get a bear pelt from? From a bear? <laughs> what else is on the board? What about. Oh, what about this one? I take a letter from the notice board. Needed. Fit and capable mail for experimental physical labor. Experimental. Will be appropriately rewarded. With me at my shop. The alchemist. Uh, who the freak writes right like that? What the hell is experimental physical labor and why is labor in apostrophes? Also, what the hell is wrong with my face? That's not how I look. <laughs> This face looks so bad, man. And why specifically a male? What kind of work am I supposed to do here? Signed by the alchemist. Is this going to be some weird potion testing? Are there no normal people with normal job requests in this town? <sighs> Guess I'll just go check out the alchemist's request. I can always just say no if it is some weird, dangerous stuff I'm supposed to do. Half an hour of looking and asking around later. I think this is the place. Um, I've actually never been here. And definitely not inside. Looks like an alchemist shop, alright? The air is thick with... What I can only presume, the smell of variety of alchemical ingredients. 
Other than that, the store seems completely empty. I wonder what all this stuff is. Come think of it, maybe the alchemist is just some old dude that needs help moving stuff around. And maybe he's just really bad at wording his requests. But, uh, like, nobody here. Hello? I hear some noise in the back. Hello? One second, please. A woman's voice. So the alchemist is not... Some old... Frail... Dude. Ah. Hi, how can I help you? Um, I... yeah. Mm. I'm looking for the... Mm, alchemist? Oh, that's me. What do you need? Didn't this look better on the screenshots? Am I dumb or something? I mean, I am, but... I felt like it looked kind of better face-wise on screenshots. Okay, you're... Okay, never mind. Maybe it didn't. It's like... The neck is the limit. Underneath neck? Not bad. Over the neck? Mm, you could have done a better job. Anyway. That's me. What do you need? I have potions, lotions, oils, elixirs for all kinds of ailments and needs. Don't look. Ah, uh, no, 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 that's not it. Oh yes, the camera angles in anime are sometimes interesting. I'm here because of your note on the notice board. Oh yes, the work inquiry. Finally! I wonder why no one showed up for that. I've put up the notice quite a while ago. Yeah, maybe your request was worded a bit... oddly. What do you mean? Never, never mind, never mind, never mind. What kind of help do you need? Oh, well, it is an unusual re request, I guess. Okay. I kind of need something from you, but I guess you have to do something for it. Okay... I, um... I guess this is a really rather unusual request regarding an alchemical ingredient. You're not currently engaged in any other kind of committed relationship, right? What? No. Oh, good! Otherwise asking for this would probably be highly inappropriate. Please be assured that this is a serious interest and you will be paid accordingly. Uh, okay, so you need me to fetch something for you or...? Not really. Kinda? I don't know. Hmm. I'm... I basically need your semen. Huh? My what? You know, your, um, your s s semen, your s sperm. Yeah, your head Ah, uh, Oh, okay, uh, okay, I get it, but why? But why in the world do you need it? Well... I said I needed as an ingredient. Wait, I'll show you. I acquired this old book recently. Is she actually serious? Or is she joking? Are you like a real state certified al alchemist? Do you have any credentials? Cre Are you kidding me? Does this look like a fucking bikery to you? Of course I'm a real alchemist. Here, the tattoo proves it too! Mm. I bet it does. Interesting place for a tattoo. I got it after I passed my alchemist certification. Uh, uh huh. It features the official alchemist crest. Only real alchemists are eligible to wear one. You can go check if you want to. Mm hmm, mm hmm. <laughs> 
Nice tattoo, yeah. It's a nice tattoo. Mm -hmm. I I'm sorry, Lee. I didn't mean to question your skills or anything like that. Mm. I understand your look but let me assure you, my interest is this is purely scientific. I recently acquired an old tome that mentions a variety of unusual, potentially very powerful ingredients. I've been studying this book for quite a while now, and unfortunately, a lot of the ingredients mentioned and are either incredibly rare or super difficult to acquire. Boom. Here. Judging by the sound, the book must be quite heavy. I'm confident that some of the information here has a lot of potential. It's just the only grid that I could even realistically acquire is, um, <clears throat> you know, the, um, uh, yeah, yes, but I think maybe I'm able to create some very useful potions that could be very beneficial, or at least gain some new insights into the works of alchemy. She lets out a sad sigh. I can feel she's genuinely serious about this. I can't believe a book like this even exists. How does someone even come up with something like this? I'm sorry if this is weirding you out, if I, or if I made you uncomfortable. You are just the first guy to respond to the notice, and you seem do seem considerate enough. I at least wanted to try and ask. There is just no way of asking that I can think of that isn't like, you know. Making yourself completely deranged. Wait. Mm. Ah, uh, well, I guess it's for a good cause. Yeah, for science. I'm such a nice freaking person. <sighs> All right, I'll do it. <gasps> really? Thank you so much. But how do I, you know, deliver? Oh, yeah, um, I guess you'll have to collect it. Um, I can give you a bottle or something. Uh, I don't know, but how long would you like? When would you be able to? Um, I uh, I have a guest room. If you want to, you could use it. Damn, she either is completely unbothered by the whole nature of her proposition, or she really is invested in getting her experimental alchemical ingredient. Uh, sorry, sorry if that's been appropriate. I guess sometimes I just spend too much time in the lab and not enough time with the people. Her guest room might serve as well as any other room for. At least compared to the place I'm staying at right now. <sighs> okay. Let's just get this over with then, I guess. Oh, okay. Great, I'll show the room. I don't really know how to feel about this. It's all just a bit too unusual. She leads me through the back room. And up the stairs. This is kind of inspiring for... The anime angle. Here it is. There should be a cup inside. You can leave it inside or bring it to me after you're done. All right. Freak, this whole situation is so hot. Wearing the tunic, I just pull the whole thing off. I don't even know if I can get into the right mood like this. And I need a cup or something. What's the best way to go about this? Freak me, what did I even get myself into? What is wrong with me? Why are you still wearing your shoes inside the room? God damn it! I let a long groan of frustration. Are you done already? Hey, what? Are you listening? I just heard a loud sigh. I thought maybe you were already done. What? I was just waiting to make sure everything's alright and in case you need help. Why did I say that? What? Ah, wait, I have an idea. Hey, what? A few seconds pass. Are you still there? I don't understand. What? Well, what? Uh, is this okay? I can see anything this way, so you don't have to worry. Uh, I thought if you're having trouble, um, maybe I could provide some um, um, 
uh, assistance. I'm not sure if this is making the situation better or worse. Ah, I guess I'm breaking some boundaries again. I think I can just wait downstairs if you prefer that. Uh, what, what did you have in mind? Um, I thought maybe you need some form of uh, visual input to help you focus. Or if you'd like, you could look at me if that would help. Wow. Holy crap. Yeah, it's helping, all right. <sighs> really? You are okay with that? I mean, I think it could help. Oh, great, then just do the thing and I'll try to provide some uh, visual stimulation, I guess. I sit down at the edge of the bed while trying to blend out how weird this is. this all is. It's certainly a nice change from all the work I did last day. Or should I say days? I think I can feel some uncertainty or nervousness coming off of her. She seems to be fine with showing herself off, albeit a little tentatively. How is this? I wonder if she's excited about this. Could, uh, could I see your tattoo again? Oh, sure. Is this good? I know my um, tattoo area was this appealing to you. Yeah, I really do like it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, it's just... I've never done it like this. Oh, wow. That's a lot of the ingredient I'd ask you about. I'm, I'm sorry, I tried to warn you, but... I guess I'll have to clean... <laughs> clean that. I take a few moments to recover. Say, didn't you want to collect? Oh no, you're right, I completely forgot! I guess I was too focused on their, um... Yeah, that was kinda stupid of me. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I, uh, I'll let you get dressed! She seems genuinely disappointed. I guess this was kind of a waste of time for her now. Not to me how to say or do, I just get dressed and follow her downstairs. Damn, was all of this pointless after all? I feel bad, I definitely should have stopped her. I feel like I... wait, 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 wait. Okay, I feel like I broke some part of our agreement. I just hope she isn't mad. <sighs> Freak, what do I say now? So, um... Well... Somebody kill me, this is so awkward. <laughs> About the payment... Yeah, um... You know what? It's fine. You didn't really get the uh, product that you wanted, so... Oh! Okay. Fuck, I don't know what to say. Maybe I should just go. But, um... Hey, if you need any help again, then let me know. Yeah, um... Bye, I guess. Ah, cringe! Hi! I would still... Yeah? I'd still be willing to buy a sample of you, you know. If you willing to deliver on the day, then maybe in some other way, I, I don't know. Despite how it may seem I was... I'm serious about my, um... Aspirations. How it may seem? What does she mean? Oh, wait, I know! Huh? Just one second. I read her glance clink as she's rummaging about underneath the counter. Ah, come on, where the hell did I put you? Ah, there you are! Ta-da! Please take this as a thank you gift for your efforts. What, what did you give me? There is nothing in your hands. Oh, wait, are you mean... do you mean that bottle? Oh, thank you. What is it? It's a cider. I made my own recipe. I make it alongside my alchemical work as a hobby. I'm quite proud of it, but I don't get to make it often. And I haven't gotten a lot of feedback yet. But everyone so far thinks it's very good. Please take it as a sign of my gratitude. I, I just appreciate if you've returned the bottle to me. Once you've finished it, those are hard to come by. Uh, sure. That's very kind of you. Thank you very much. Bye! 
Mm, see ya. Once outside, take a deep breath, trying to process the whole past situation. Man, I feel guilty somehow. Just, you know, drop the ingredient in a goddamn bottle. How hard can it be? This should have been the easiest job ever. I can't believe I actually just came... Dirtied the floor instead. She's gonna have to clean it up. Fuck! She even gave me a thank you gift. Did she feel responsible? They might feel bad now. I wish I knew what to say to alleviate the situation afterwards, at least. Maybe she have taken responsibility, responsibility and apologized. That might have made me feel better. And her too, maybe. And I still don't know her name. God freaking... That's true, we don't know her name. <laughs> Which is crazy. But next day, early morning. It's early. Really early. There aren't a lot of people out yet and the merchants are just opening up their stores. I couldn't stop thinking about yesterday the whole time and now... I'm back again. First thing in the morning. But why? For money to get paid. To return the bottle, obviously. I need to clear my conscience and apologize. Uh... Let's say this one? I guess... Dirting her floor of some... Strange... Wait. I guess me dirting the floor of some stranger really does wave on your conscience. I'll just go in, return the bottle and apologize for yesterday. If her store is even open yet. Hopefully there will be some grounds for social interaction left after that. Hmm, open, but seems empty again. Hello? Ah, I'm sorry, I'm making potions right now. If it's not urgent, please come back later. Her voice is coming from somewhere in the back of the shop again. Oh, okay. Oh, oh it's you! Wait, 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 wait. Ah, uh, yeah, the don't stress yourself. It is you! Th that's g g good. Honestly, I wasn't entirely sure you'd come back. Oh, uh, yeah, no, I. Nice outfit. Don't look, don't look, don't let your eyes wander. But it's really good that you're back. I don't need to talk to you again. Uh huh. Frick, I got to focus. Oh, I'm weak. You see, I, I I wanted to apologize for for yesterday. Huh? It was my fault we didn't um that I didn't stop and um I, I guess I was too focused on the task at hand. Task at The thing is, I knew this would be really unusual because and that it would be really weird to ask something like that. Uh, but you were not only the first person to find an answer, you also agreed and you didn't make such a big deal out of this. And so considering the circumstances, I think you... Uh, did, uh, did your part just fine while I... Uh, you, uh, you, uh, I really want to try and be professional, but I guess I let myself get distracted from the uh, 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 nature of the task. And uh, Also, you definitely deserve a payment, since it wasn't your fault at all, and you did what I asked. And, and since it was my request and I have uh, um, uh, actions that caused this um, uh, accident, I should have handled this better and... Uh, and for that, uh, I wanted to apologize. So I hope you can accept my apology and maybe we'll consider our work relationship. Wow. So apparently she feels the same way I do. Well, uh, I actually wanted to apologize myself. Hey, huh? Really? Why? Well, I guess kind of for the same reasons that you feel. I also feel... Felt, feel, responsible. I mean, um, it's my, mm, yeah, my body after all. I guess I should give you a better warning or something. I also feel bad that you had to clean it up afterwards. Hey. So, um, yeah, I don't blame you or anything. I guess it was just an unfortunate miscommunication. Oh, that makes me really relieved. I was actually so worried. I felt so embarrassed afterwards. I mean, I still feel like it's mostly my fault, but it's nice that you won't apologize to me too. So, um, thanks, I guess. So, um, thanks, I guess. Oh, um, uh, and of course, 
I want to return the bottle. <gasps> oh, thanks a lot. How do you like it? Honestly, it was great. Really, probably one of the best drinks I ever had. And surprising light. What is in that recipe of yours? It's great that you liked it. The recipe is supposed to be secret until enough people tested it. She takes the bottle and stores it underneath the counter again. But I do want to make more and start selling it eventually. Huh? Wait, is that another tattoo? Are these really her working plans? Fuck, this is too much. Why the freak am I even looking away? It's not because she really didn't offer to like milk yesterday and then also that they gave me some other stuff. Like that cider. So, um... Hey, um, did you give me the cider because you knew I would have to come back to return the bottle? Um, no. Uh, yes, I did. I did think that would it would make me make for a good alternative when you said you didn't want any money. But you're right. I kind of didn't want to just leave things as they were yesterday. So the cider was a bit of an incentive, but really mainly it was supposed to make my thanks. Clever. No, oh, it's kind of cute. Kinda cute. Hey, what do you mean? Uh, oh, n nothing. By the way, my name is Arthur. <gasps> wow, did I even not ask your name yesterday before we... I guess I was really motivated. And, ahem, what's your name? Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, sorry, my name is Ellen. Oops. <laughs> It's okay. So, Arthur, I don't really know if I should ask this, but, ahem, do, did you think about the job offer again? Oh, I did, the whole day, and drinking her cider sometimes didn't help me forget, and I don't know if it's her endering apology and how she's caring so much about it, or if it's just the apron she's wearing, but I'm freaking pumped. Probably a bit of both. <laughs> yeah... And... Oh, I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess I'd be willing. This might end in disaster again, but there's no way I would pass up the opportunity to feel what I felt yesterday. Again. I mean, if you are cool with it. Oh, yeah, I totally, I mean, yes, I am. We could do it right now, if you have time. Hell yeah, I got time. Yeah. Um, I I have a time right now. Oh, okay, great. I was really hoping for another chance. <laughs> Me too, I guess. She, there is a tattoo. What the heck? It's a butterfly. She opens the back door again and leads me through. I swear I can sense some excitement from her and it's really infectious. Hold up. That is another tattoo. Butterfly, huh? I wonder if that has some alchemical meaning too. Um... I love your tattoo. Oh, thanks, but you already said that yesterday. Oh, you mean my... Uh -huh. Yeah, that's my... Uh, I got a while uh, back um, when I graduated together with the other and um, it was friend's idea. I love it. Uh, it's a very visually stimulating. Oh, okay. Well, I'll keep that in mind. By the way, as you may know, uh, or may not know, actually, I would prefer no tattoos at all. But also, it doesn't bother me, so, yeah. You know, as long as it's not like a freaking crazy sleeve, that's too much. That's too much. Then again, the places she has tattoos, that would bother me. Yeah. Anyway, watching her go up the stairs is also incredibly stimulating. We um we can use my room, it's more suitable. Hmm, sure, sure, yeah. Man, I'm getting a little agitated here. This feels different from yesterday. She's way more enthusiastic. So uh, this is my room. 
So, um, um, she seems a bit unsure about how to proceed, despite being so determined to get her ingredient. Do you have a cup or a bottle or something? Oh yeah, I think we can just use this one, it looks clean. Lord grant me the strength. She takes the cup and places it on the nightstand next to her bed. Uh, okay, so I can put on the blindfold again if you prefer. I'm cool without it if you are. Oh! I mean, I'm cool without it if you are too. Oh yeah, totally! I think I'll, it will be much better without. <laughs> <clears throat> Listen, this is a very important job to get ingredients for alchemical purposes, okay? Don't get any wrong ideas in your head. You can put your clothes on the chair if you want to. I swiftly pull my clothes off and kick my off my shoes. Oh wow, that was fast. Yeah, just the tunic and the underwear. Do you want to take off your apron or something? God, please. Uh, Ellen. El Ellen. What about if you I change to some fresh clothes real quick? No, no, of course not. Go ahead. Damn, I was totally looking forward to seeing even more of her. She gives me an unsure glance before going to her wardrobe. You can sit down the bed if you'd like. This might be a good show, but please. Alright, Arthur. Uh, just stay cool. She felt so responsible yesterday, there is no way I can freak this up a second time. Or so I'm telling myself that. I'll just have to focus and... Oh my god! That's right! My god! <sighs> I'm ready! I'm so freaking ready to... It's a good day to have ice! I don't know how I feel about saying that. I guess you're ready too! The moment she's down the center from her involves me again. I swear it's it's a crazy situation. I'll just start then. Yeah, sure. Mm hmm I after the whole <clears throat> extraction of the ingredient for the alchemy stuff she's going to be doing. I feel completely drained, my whole body goes limp and my hand... and that's it. It takes me a few incredibly long moments to recover while she slowly, extremely slowly... Uh, lifts up as well. Uh, are, are you okay? Alina's breathing heavily interrupted by small coughs. Wait... Did you swallow all of the ingredient? Holy shit. Well, mission failure. Uh, are you good? Do you, do you need anything? Wow. <laughs> she lets out a small giggle. That, that was intense. Oh yeah, but why didn't you stop? Did, did you swallow? Wait. Oh shit, you're right. I just, I, I didn't mean to. When the fire when I felt in my adjust I know it was like a reflex Oh no I ruined it again I'm sorry Hey hey whoa you don't have to apologize to me Her inability to control her excitement would almost be funny if she wasn't so genuinely upset and disappointed with herself It was weird but I do feel bad for her Are you alright? I mean it's not a big deal we can try again later if you want I can hear her let out a small sigh. <sighs> I just don't know. I don't know why I get it carried away so easily. I really shouldn't lose my focus like this. Please don't get the wrong idea. I'm really serious about the whole ingredient thing. I just don't want you to think that I'm doing this to take advantage of you for my personal enjoyment. I mean... I wouldn't complain. 
I don't think I would mind. Have you seen the the character basically has my thoughts, which makes sense. Hey, I believe you. And even if at this point, a uh, mm, I'm probably willing to try as often as you want. I mean, we're not very productive in regards to the original intentions, uh, but I mean, uh, I don't hate it, obviously. Yeah, I guess it's kind of fun. There has to be some reason why I get so distracted. And if I could keep some level of professional integrity at this. <laughs> she lets out that defeated sigh. That kind of, uh, <clears throat> that kind of uh, relief. It would have been real awkward if she was this eager doing it while simultaneously disliking it. If you stay here with me, we could probably try again in a few minutes. Really? I didn't think about that. Oh, yeah, it wouldn't take too long with you here. That's good. I'd still like to try and prove my ambitions to you. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm really curious. <laughs> so, um, um, Arthur, is there anything that would maybe help you with? Is she pushing her chest out a little further? I mean, I could think of a few things. Really? Like what? Something that I could do? No hesitation. The moment the topic goes back to the <clears throat> certain stuff, she quickly forgets about our previous accident. That gives an idea for. I wonder how she would like it for. Yeah, actually. Hmm. Would you get to the state of clothing that I am in yourself? Uh, sure. I can practically feel her eyes on me. I'm pretty sure she's very curious about my proposition. And yes, she's in the same state, clothing state as me. She looks at me somewhat expectantly, somewhat timidly. Okay, now just lay back and uh, yeah, I'll do something for you for a change. Okay, if it will help you. Hmm, sure. But that's not just that I really want to see how she will react when she's the one on whom the experiments would be played. Just let me know if something feels wrong. I look up her last time. She seems visibly nervous and she her chest is slowly heaving up and down. It's comfortable that she's nervous now that it's her turn. After the experiment. Wait, 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 wait. I hope she doesn't fall asleep. What do I do then? For versus actually kind of nice. I think I just enjoy looking at her and being close to her. The whole job agreement seems weirdly far away right now. How are you feeling? Um, that, that was really intense. You did it really intensely. Yep. Now you know how it feels. Huh. What? <laughs> oh my god, that's so mean. We could have at least slowed down. Mm. You could have at least slowed down. That was way too much. You didn't either. She smiles and I just grin back at her. For a few brief moments, I just look at her, taking in the warmth radiating from her body and her scent, which becomes so familiar so quickly. But it felt really nice. Yep, that was kind of fun. And I can see that. So you want to continue? You are energetic, girl. Like she wasn't just. Almost passed out seconds ago in a bliss. Well, we still have, uh, you know, to collect the ingredient. Yep, guess, I mean, we could chill for a sec. Oh, it's okay if you need four more seconds to get ready. Ah, uh, no, that's not it. I just thought maybe we could just sit and talk for a bit. But can I really say that? After all this, this is still about our agreement. Okay, great. Then you just sit here again and maybe tell me what you would like me to do. I could do what I did the first time. Yep. Um, the situation from a second ago, from just prior, is certainly already not waving her down anymore. She seems to have a special energy when it comes to taking an active role. Eh, well, eh, 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 what you just said right now, it sounds kind of, it sounds really bad. 
That's what I totally intended to be like that. I didn't mean to force you in any way. I just got in the moment. It just seemed like the thing to do in that second. It was more like a reflex. I didn't think about collecting it somehow instead. But if you maybe think it's better to do it without my help. <laughs> no, I definitely want your help me. I can't help but laugh a bit by her sudden embarrassment, despite her obvious willingness to do it all over again. I mean, if you want to collect it this time, maybe just restrain yourself a bit, okay? Of course I will! Maybe you can tell me exactly what works best for you. Ah, uh, well, doing it this way was also kinda new for me still. The important part is, I guess, that you listen to me and stop when I'm getting close. To releasing the ingredient for your alchemical potions. And it's better if you just go slow, at least at the start. I see. Sorry again for just taking control like that. I guess I just really want. I guess I just really want to make sure that we get to extract the special ingredient after all. Thank you, Arthur, for being so okay with all of this. Yeah, mm, no problem. It's not that I didn't enjoy our previous attempts, and I don't think you're taking advantage of me. In fact, I guess it's really a bit of a weird situation at all, but you're kind of cool about it too. I think it's admirable that you're so adamant about your ambition. And doing this with you really has been fun, so... I... I... Don't... Mind. Just, um, don't forget the cup. Oh, yeah, yeah! <laughs> that would be a pet if we forgot. Again. Hmm, I'm a little hesitant now. What? Why? She certainly doesn't look hesitant right now. Well, I don't know what to, like, make a mistake. I don't want to accidentally make you, uh, get me the ingredient to rally like last time. I don't have any experience when it comes to telling what feels really good for you. I mean, that's why I did it like that last time, because I thought it feels better if I just, you know, go deeper and faster. That certainly it's been amazing for maybe it's a bit too intense for a mm -mm, controlled situation. I see. I guess it doesn't matter what you do as long as you stop before. It's the final call. This is amazing! I can actually do my tests now! Thank you so much! Hey, no problem. It was a team effort, I'd say. Oh my god, I can't wait to try this out! I bet this is the most potent ingredient I've ever worked with. Seeing her rush off to get dressed, I decided to do the same. She's fast, she must really be hyped about finally being able to make her potions. Did she clean off? This is so exciting! I didn't doubt that she actually wanted... <clears throat> my ingredient. But I didn't expect her to be so curious about it. Maybe there's really something to it, and the book she talked about. It's definitely nice to see her so happy that we got it after all. I'm kind of curious now regarding her work. Okay, so I need this and I'm gonna definitely need... And let's just mumbling along about all the different preparations she has to make. She seems really focused, it almost feels like she's already forgotten about my presence. But it does remind me of the two times where she didn't stop. I think I've started to understand a little what she meant when she said she gets lost. She gets lost in the, in the moment. Oh, I could try. No. Uh, maybe? Oh, wait, right. I should compensate you first. I'm sorry. I can't wait to work on this. Yeah, yeah. You seem really excited. I don't know anything about alchemy. I didn't think my uh, ingredient could have such potential. I know, right? That's what I love about alchemy. You can find out about all the different elements in nature. And now I finally get to test out one of the ingredients of the old book mentions and see if it's true. Speaking of the ingredient, uh, you still have some of um of it on your cheek. Hey, what? <gasps> Where? Oh, oh wow! Uh, I must have missed it. Eh, uh, whoops! If you wait at the counter, I'll be with you in a second after I clean myself up properly. Yeah, sure. Not sure why she's embarrassed about that. He didn't bother her back upstairs. But maybe we're an oh back to a more business relationship. Which makes me think I'd definitely like to get to know her better. So I could ask her 
but it shouldn't solely think of this as something of a business relationship. Then I have no idea. Especially because we skipped like so many steps that are usually in a no normal relationship. Is there any left? Yeah. Uh, no, no. There, there is none. All good. Okay, good. Yeah, I think I look more professional without it. I want to thank you again for your help and for your patience. It was your idea that ended up working best after all. Any time. I think this is becoming my favorite line of work. Considering the circumstance of my request, I'm really thankful to have found you. And you made it easy for me after all the mistakes that we, that I made. You absolutely deserve a full compensation. She reverted below the counter once more. I don't know, accepting payment for this still feels kind of wrong. I feel my, like my priorities shifted elsewhere after what we did, but I could really use the money. Here, it's 80 coins. I know we didn't discuss the amount beforehand, so I hope this is sufficient. Please take it. She holds out purse expectingly, clearly determined on giving me the money. Are you sure about the amount? 80 coins is a steep reward, considering I didn't work all that long for it. A jump at the sawmill only paid 10 coins for a whole day. Of course, it was a difficult request and I think you absolutely deserve it. You can count it if you want. Eh, uh, no. It's fine, but... Wait. With only the slightest hint of reluctance, I take the purse and I think she feels both relieved and happy about being able to compensate me. That's really generous. Thank you. The purse feels nice and heavy in my hand. I have been running low on funds lately. Oh no, please, it's only an appropriate payment. This, um, this also kind of an incentive because... I mean, I haven't passed out the ingredient yet, but... This could end up not being a one-time agreement. <clears throat> if it turns out to be true, what the book said, uh, I'll, I might definitely need more. I understand you would prefer to think of this one time as a one-time agreement, but I do hope you're gonna visit me again. That's great, I do want to come back for sure, okay? But I still want to ask her. Actually... Mm, no? What? No, of, of course I'm gonna come back if you want me to. I wanted to ask. This is it. If she has no interest in me personally, it would be real awkward to continue our deal if even all at all possible that would suck. Maybe if you'd be interested. Yes? Like if you have time, if you maybe... If you maybe would like to spend some time together. Some time. Wow, that was difficult. Oh, you mean like outside of our agreement? Yeah. Like maybe us in a date? Oh, like that. Oh, wow. R really? You would? After today and yesterday? Uh, I can't even remember the last time I just... Uh, but I mean, if you're asking... Uh, I stay silent, listening to her, monologuing her inner thoughts process, while hoping she ultimately agrees. I guess uh, this totally sounds kind of fun. Actually, I think that could be a lot of fun. It's been quite a while since I did something just for fun. And then thought that something like this would happen when I put up the notice. <laughs> yeah, totally. I'd love to. Yeah, that's great. I'm really glad to hear. Oh, you should come over for dinner tomorrow. That's a good idea, right? Then I could show you any discoveries I made. Hmm, sure, sounds great. I thought I would invite her to something, but she's so enthusiastic I don't think I can refuse. Great! Do you want me to bring anything? Oh no, no, just leave it to me. Okay, I'll, I'll just come over then. Yes, I'm already looking forward to it. Yeah, me too. Me too, and I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, I'll step outside with you. I look the door since I think I'll be working on the ingredient the rest of the day. Just come by tomorrow evening whenever you feel like it. We step outside and turn back to her one last time. Alright, uh, I'll see you tomorrow then. Good luck with your work and I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah, thanks. Me too. I can't wait. Bye. Bye. This went so much better than expected. Wow, I can remember being filled with so much anticipation. I can't wait. She said.
And with that being said... No, no, no. Not this moment. Over here. Yeah, we can save here. Fuck. We can save here. With that being said, we'll of course continue tomorrow. I think this is a good moment to cut it. And I will still need to cut some stuff to make it safe for YouTube somehow. Holy crap, this will require quite a bit of editing, that's for sure. It's been a moment since I've had to, like, really focus on, let's say, making it safe for YouTube. Still for, hope you guys enjoyed, and not guys, hope you enjoyed too. Uh, of course, you can show it by liking the video. You can... What can you comment? Have you ever tried any alchemical... <laughs> alchemical tricks? Okay, I, it can be just chemical as well, okay? One of the two. It's fine. Chemical is good too, to be honest. Uh, of course, uh, subscribe if you haven't by now. First of all, it's free. Second of all, we've reached 2000. Now it's a journey to two and a half. So every person counts. And you can become a part of a bigger project or something like that. <laughs> yeah, and anyway, there's also Twitch, Twitter, Instagram in the description. If you're into that stuff, uh, you can follow me there. And again, the game is on each.io. If you search it, you will find it. Because even if you make the videos, safe for YouTube, the link, I believe, will not be considered as safe for YouTube, so... That's how we are going to play it. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.